What's going on everybody? It's Ben here and thank you for participating in our question and answer. Uh, we got a whole lot of great questions. Um, so many that we can't answer all of them but we are going to try to hit up quite a few of the frequently asked questions. So I'm going to take one right now. Bethany writes, hey guys, you write some amazing songs. Just curious as to what the process is. Thank you Bethany. Um, do you write the lyrics and then the music? How long does it usually take you to write a song? Thank you. Well, Bethany, um, I think that melody, you know, is something that seems to come natural to us. I mean, I think it's an important thing to uh, create a blueprint with a melody. And what I mean by that is, if you think about um, if someone read you a poem, you know, melodies have been going back to the ancient times. Let's say somebody read you a poem, not the same thing as lyrics, but has rhymes and things that you can grab onto. Um, would you remember it, you know, after one time hearing it? Because sometimes uh, with a song with choruses, you can remember it and sing it after the first time if it's a really good song. So I think that's why melodies are really important. Um, however, we have been really conscious on this record uh, about lyrical hooks, and by that I mean the titles. Um, trying to do, trying to choose titles that you say every day, that I say every day, and then suddenly give them a twist, um, which usually a really good song has. And sometimes, um, you know, you'll be, you'll be toying around with a melody for a long time, and you get somewhere where you like it, and then the actual hook of the song, and then the lyrical hook, the melodic and lyrical hook, might just come together at the same time, and then you actually really know what you're going to write about, you know, and it takes work sometimes. Um, and how long does it usually take? You never know. I mean, we've written songs, I think, in, you know, like, a really short, you know, anywhere from, I've written songs in 15 minutes, and I've also written songs over the course of, like, a year. You know, I mean, you might pick it up here and there. So, you know, it doesn't really matter. What really matters is the end product, but it can be anything. You know what I mean? Um, some things are just, like, gifts falling from the sky and some some you just gotta work at it um, so thank you for writing Bethany and we'll see you soon hey what's up everyone this is Joey I'm answering a question from Grace Mussolini her question is are you guys going to be working on a new album soon and um, the answer excited to say is we are currently working on the new record um, as you can see, I'm in the studio right now, so is everyone else. We just finished recording a, a bunch of tracks. Um, you know, the vibe is great. We're recording pretty much everything live and uh, having a lot of fun. We're very excited, and we have you all to thank for letting us make a third record. Without the uh, support of everyone out there, we wouldn't be able to be here and uh, do this. So we're, uh, we're really excited, and uh, we'll talk to you soon. Hello, my name is Ethan, and I'm going to answer a question to the band, and that is, what are the pros and cons of playing at an arena versus a club, and which one do you prefer? Um, there are pros and cons to both, and I, I think the, the greatest thing about an arena is uh, seeing an audience that big, hopefully that big, if you can feel it, um, coming to see what you do and, and hear what you do and, and being there because of something that you created and and that's you know a very sort of gratifying thing uh, and it's also a humbling thing um, and you know the size of a crowd can really make you feel differently about a piece of music uh, from how you felt when you may have written it or rehearsed it or whatever um, but with, uh, with playing in an arena, the downside would be there's a lack of intimacy with the crowd and sort of uh, just as far as sound goes, you know, with the size of the hall, the reverberations, which make things very, sound very big, which can be a good thing, uh, they also can sound kind of washy and you lose certain things, um, you lose certain details and aspects. Um, so I think that both are really good, and I, I really enjoy seeing uh, 
artists that I like play in, in both. Um, and, uh, you know, that's something that we want to keep doing in our band because when you're playing in a small club, uh, you'll have people standing usually right in front of you, you know, uh, right at the edge of the stage and, and you'll be right there um, five feet away from them. Um, so you can see instant reactions to every little thing that you do and, and there's a lot of attention to detail. Um, so as far as which one I prefer, it, it depends on the day, you know, it's like, do I want something that's, you know, um, a, a quieter setting, a little more, um, you know, a little more attention to uh, the music side of things, or do I want something that's, you know, just very big and almost gratuitous, you know, lights and sound and, and just, you know, feeling it through your chest. Uh, we hope our fans like to see us in both, in both places. This is Micah. She's taking a little rest. All right. Hope that answered your question. Over and out. Got a question here. Um. When are you going to release your new record? Don't hold me to it, but we're hoping for early spring, March, April, June. I know I skipped May. That's it. I hope. Hello everyone, Kyle here, and I'm going to answer a few questions that have been posed by some fans. The one question, first question, the first question I will be answering is in regards to facial hair. Now, there comes a point in every young man's life where he must test out the abilities of his manliness and grow out all forms of hair on the human body. I have come to that point. I did not know I could even do this. And now that I've hit the studio and don't have to see girls for a while, I have uh, taking the liberty to uh, let this go a little bit. And uh, that's the answer for that. I'm sure that the other guys have a similar answer about their facial hair. At least about the fact of being in the studio for a long time and uh, hardly seeing uh, the outdoors very much. So there you go, there's question number one. Uh, let's see here. Question number two. Will the Click 5 ever go on tour again? There's been a few questions asking us if we will ever play another show. And the answer is a resounding yes. Will we tour the United States again? Yes. Will we tour it? overseas again. Yes. Will we be traveling to uncharted waters? Yes. Places the band has never been before. Yes. When is that going to happen, you might ask? We, here in the band, 
believe that that is going to happen shortly after the uh, finishing of this record, which we are slated to finish this record in early 2009, just after the United States has elected a new president. And we will be hitting all the territories that we've been to already. And as I said, some new territories, we are hoping. As for the United States, our home front, we will be touring again. Whether it's just us in a van, or whether it's on tour with another band, opening or joining on the bill and playing shows with friends, we will be doing all of those and we'll be trying to do all of those as much as we possibly can. Because, again, the reason we do this is for you. We make music that we like and that we hope that you like and then we go out and play it for you because we love it so much. So thank you again for staying tuned. Thank you for the questions. And I hope that answered uh, a lot of your questions. And we'll be back again soon answering more questions. And we'll have some music out for you very soon. We are underway on the first five songs. Uh, we've finished the basic tracks for those five. And we are now moving to... Uh, some uh, adding some color to all the tracks and uh, some special things going on and uh, we'll be moving to vocals next week and uh, recording uh, the finishing touches on everything so enjoy and we will be seeing all of you very soon on uh, some form of touring and some form of stage and we'll be holding some form of instruments instruments will be holding some form of instruments and uh, playing songs for you guys new songs that we've written and uh, yeah so we'll see you soon <laughs>